Mark Eeb says he grew up knowing he'd be a banker or a lawyer, a title his parents would be proud of. You kind of do what your parents want you to do. So I went to business school just like they wanted. For two decades, he followed the plan, finding success in Chicago's financial district, until the day he picked up a paintbrush at a local art class. It started coming out really, really fun. It, it was just adding these layers. That canvas was a turning point for Yi. I was weaving these colors underneath, and then I would cover them up, feeling like almost like I had been covered up in doing what my parents wanted me to do. And I was always fascinated with the colors that were poking through, through the bottom, thinking like, wow, that's like me trying to get out. <laughs> A year later, Yi ditched the fancy Federal Reserve building for a funky art studio. I like to take my paintings right to the edge. And so underneath many of my paintings was a perfectly good painting. Just good. I like, I could stop here. And then I put on some great music, I turned it up really loud and I just go to town. And then you step back and you're like, all right. In six short years, with no formal training, Marky not only found his passion, but success in something miles away from the game plan. I'm amazed every day and I'm really thankful. His diverse collection showing up in some of the city's top galleries. Put it on here like this. That looked kind of nice. Yi's heritage also began peeking through that canvas. This is a chess, Chinese chess board here. That's the river down the middle. And um, underneath here in the blue is a horse that I started on, but I've covered up. His most recent work, giant textural Chinese war horses. I liked that he was producing horses that were, were kind of layered. It, it was like he was excavating them on his campus. And of course, that's right up my alley. The Golden Triangle is installing several of Yi's war horse pieces this week in honor of the Chinese New Year. At one time, I had horses that were 2,500 years old. So I'm very familiar with horses and how important they are for the Chinese. So to have a modern person interpreting it is exciting to me. Oh, look at that. These horses play a really important part in Chinese history. They were a symbol of power and strength and they helped win the wars. I like selling ancient things, but um, if I only sold ancient things and things that were made by people who have passed away, I think it wouldn't be as exciting as it is when I have things from artists today, people that are making things now, especially people from my city, from Chicago. Like Mark Yee, a data guy turned painter, brushing new life into an old art. It starts getting messy, then you know <laughs> it's going a little crazy. I know when a painting is done, when I'm putting all the layers on, because I stop giving, and then I step back, and the painting starts giving to me, and I like, I feel it, and I want other people to feel that. Aaron Ivory, WGN News.